Hello, Mr. Horst here. I'd like to show you uh, guitar exercise 2.5 in this video. Okay, so let's first let's talk about the uh, the notes. Uh, we've been we have been using these. This is the 12th and 13th fret, right? Okay, so these are eight thirds. Now I'm gonna add one uh, today for this uh, uh, for this uh, exercise. We're gonna go down. Okay, so so when you when you come down to so you have, you know, um, the D and an F, right? D and an F. But I'm not going to slide my ring finger down to C. Okay. No, I'm going to instead. I'm, I'm going to use the index finger to hold the C, the, the high C, and then play, and use my middle finger to. Why do I do that? This is, you know, um, the result of, you know, problem solving, you know, uh, the application of the skill of problem solving from math. Now, in order to make this transition smooth, if I use the index finger, Put it on C. After I play this, these three notes, I can slide that index finger, index finger from first fret to the third fret, and then put down my middle finger. This is the middle finger here, right on the B. So B D. And I use my little finger. I mean, you can use your you know, ring finger. But I like to use my little finger. Okay? So here you see, I mean, and there are really basically three ways to play this, the, the C and E, right? I can use my uh, ring finger and my little finger. I can use my middle finger and ring finger. I can also use my index finger and middle finger, right? It depends on where you are going. You know, you can use different combination, different combinations of uh, fingering, right? So it depends on if I'm going down, I'm going to use. If I'm if I'm turning around, right? If I'm going back up, I'm going to slide down, slide up, slide up, right? So, so those are the notes. One more time. These are the thirds. Okay. 
normally I use one pattern in one guitar exercise I think so far well except that you know the one we do the triple you know the triple and the quadruple right so most of the guitar exercise contains only one pattern now this one I'm combining two they are very similar you know very similar okay so so the first half here we are going to start from right Pattern is going to be one, two, two, one. So you pl play the first third, you go down. You repeat the second, and you go back to the first. direction right that's the first half of the uh, of the exercise right so after we you know gonna go to the second pattern second pattern is very similar to first one one two one two so so the first pattern is one two two one you repeat that two right but you know here it's one two one two same thing it's one to one too so okay but the one is now is the lower third slightly different okay one is two one one two two one second is one two one two okay so you're working on connecting the two adjacent the two adjacent uh, thirds okay so I mean it's a I mean to be honest you know this is uh, quite a jump in terms of the difficulty level you know, from the previous uh, from 2.4 you know from all the previous ones so it's going to require a lot more practice now at this point precision is more important than speed okay so you know of course after you develop you improve your finger strength 
and then you know um, in a long in a long term you know uh, which is the endurance the finger endurance the next thing is you want to you know uh, achieve uh, accuracy precision okay so you don't want to play really fast try to play faster but you know play all the you know, notes you know wrong or not clear okay so it's, it's more important I mean to to have the clarity right you can you can hear each note very clearly distinctive distinctively right and also you know uh, they are precise they are accurate okay and then once you I mean once you you know practice you know uh, for a long time then you can gradually increase the speed okay okay so anyway that's you know I mean that's a really important thing to, you know to, to remember In fact, you know, when you practice, you know, when you practice really slowly, really slowly, take your time. That's when you actually absorb, you know, that skill more deeply. Okay. The effect is better. It's, it's more. When you play it really slow. Consciously, I mean deeply. So you 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 are present. You know you're present at each moment. Okay. You really feel that you know each note. Give it a try. Give it a try. And uh, I mean, if your fingers hurt a lot, one thing you can do is to, I mean, I, I tune this. This is standard tuning guitar, right? So it's pretty tight. You can, you know, tune your guitar down a half step or even a whole step. That's going to, you know, help with, you know, uh, the cutting, you know, the pain on your finger so I mean that's something you can do and the best thing is you know uh, practice practice this on a classical guitar I mean that's really you know the best thing you know don't try to deal w w especially with this set of guitar exercise don't try to use a steel string guitar I mean it really hurts okay anyway that's it okay I'll see you next time bye bye